today. There are some problems out there on the roads for sure, and an accident on the Long Island Expressway westbound out after Little Neck Parkway is causing major delays. In fact, we'll take a live look. Oh, maybe it's clearing. I love when that happens. Uh, as you can see, though, it's still slowing down getting into that area, but this looked like a parking lot just a few minutes ago, so that is good news. Perhaps it's been moved to the shoulder, and as I get more information, I'll get it right out to you, but you'll also see delays on Route 17 eastbound in the Monroe area approaching exit 130A, which is the Route 6 exit. Uh, there's still some road work out there, and then heading heading over to Route 3, all lanes closed eastbound at Grove Street, so you're going to be diverted off at Grove. It's not causing a delay right now, so uh, hopefully that will reopen soon, and heading over to 78 eastbound, you have an accident approaching uh, 287, so you have some delays out there. We'll take a live look outside at the Holland Tunnel or the approaches to it where delays are starting to build out there. They're about five minutes inbound. It's about 15 minutes inbound at the Lincoln Tunnel and no delay yet at the George Washington Bridge. Alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect, so don't forget to move your car. Darlene, back over to you. All right, thanks. Today, if you're getting on the subways, there are delays on Coney Island bound D trains and northbound F and G trains. And then, of course, there's overnight track work. So expect that on these 11 subway lines. You have about 20 more minutes of that. Major commuter rail line so far so good. And we'll take a live look outside. Here's the George Washington Bridge where... Holland Tunnel or the approaches to it uh, where everything's moving along nicely uh, right now. At least here, it seems, there seems to be some delays in the outbound. right now. There's usually road there. Uh, it is wet, like I said, but things ultimately moving along okay between uh, the Belt Merge and Industry City all the way up to your lower East River crossings. And then finally, way, again, roads are wet, but everything's moving along just fine by the Bronx River Parkway. Alternate side of the street parking rules, they are in effect. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. 449 right now fine by the Bronx River Parkway. Alternate side of the street parking rules, they are in effect. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. 449 right now. Let's show you Storm Tracker 4 picking up some of that steadier rainfall right now in through central New Jersey. So parts of Somerset, Morris County, if you're riding along 78 and 287, 202, for that matter, Madison, just seeing some of that moderate rainfall. So yes, it is going to see, uh, you are going to see showers throughout the day. You're also going to feel warm and muggy, 70 degrees by 1 o'clock. Showers continue into the afternoon. Keep in mind, though, that the heaviest rainfall, the gustiest winds will be waiting for us late tonight and for that reason we have the wind advisory that's been posted by the National Weather Service for Long Island and to Fairfield County parts of the Hudson Valley too for gusts over 50 miles per hour at times late tonight. So I'm going to time out that severe threat as well that's coming up in just a little bit but let's time your morning commute see how many things are slowing us down this morning. Good morning Lauren. Good morning Maria. Roads are wet like you've been saying so be very careful this morning. Right now you still have one trouble spot and it is 280 westbound uh, out by exit 10 Northfield Avenue a dump truck two tractor trailers. It's been out there for a little while. Uh, we're getting reports sometimes closed, sometimes two lanes blocked. So uh, there are some minor delays getting into the area. Traffic. <laughs> Hi, uh, good morning. You can see lots of green on the map, so not too many slowdowns, but there is an accident on the Gowanus heading inbound just after the Prospect Expressway that takes out the left lane that just came in. And then heading over to the major commuter rail lines, all running on or close to schedule, and subway service will resume within the next few minutes at 5 a.m. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. Happening today, Sotheby's is auctioning memorabilia from some of the best rappers of all time. The crown making all the changes. Well, good morning, everybody. 4 a.m. right now on this Thursday, November 12th. I'm Michael Gargiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Lawrence Gallus tracking roads and rails. Storm Team 4. Storm Team 4's Maria La Rosa is here with those seasonable headlines. <laughs> Back to reality. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. Oh, yes. Uh, we are seeing an end to the 70s, and we're also in some places seeing an end to that steady, heavy rainfall. I know it doesn't look like it when you overnight. So give yourself lots of extra time is my advice, mm -hmm. Lauren. How about you? I think I agree with you. Uh, roads are definitely wet, like you said. Be careful of the leaves and slip and slide conditions. We'll see them on the rails as well. Uh, this is a live look at the BQE. I know it's not the most exciting picture, but there are reports of flooding out there eastbound uh, out by Cabin Plaza. Lanes are passable, though. Then heading over to the George Washington Bridge, everything moving along nicely into the toll plazas. But again, uh, as you make your way across bridges, take it easy this morning. The roads are wet uh, all over the place. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Lauren.
402 right now happening today. Nearly two dozen schools across Brooklyn will begin in-person learning after coming out of the red zone. This comes as Governor Cuomo announces sweet Thanksgiving Day Parade is being reimagined as a TV-only event. So because of the pandemic, there's going to be none of the massive crowds obviously we traditionally see. Entertainment for our holiday staple, though, will include Broadway links. And today, the star of the holiday season takes its first step towards its place right here at 30 Rock. The 2020 Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is being cut down. Crews in Oneonta, New York, will begin slicing into the 75-foot-tall Norway spruce at 8 a.m. A crane will then hoist the 11-ton tree onto a trailer to begin its journey to New York City. If all goes as planned, the tree should arrive at 30 Rock on Saturday morning. Of course, you'll be able to watch the tree lighting from the comfort of your home. News here on NBC4. I think that's great. Yeah, we're still doing it. We're still doing it. Right. It's going to be great. It's happening. <laughs> uh, Darlene is a noted arborist, by the way. <laughs> I am. <laughs> she she always my... measures the rings on the trees to determine yes. the age. Yes. My, with my axe. That's I right. Took the trees right. down. Yes. <laughs> she wears essence of pine. <laughs> <laughs> essence of pine. Complete it all. <laughs> But guys, you know, I know it doesn't feel like it, but look at this number, 39 days until the countdown to winter, or 39 days until winter. But we have temperatures now in the upper 60s, and we shattered a record yesterday while we were kind of dealing. Now, Laura and I know a lot of people will want to give themselves a little extra time this morning. That's right. Thank you, Mary, myself included. Uh, if you are headed out right now, uh, LIRR commuters, this is pretty much the biggest issue out there. Ronkonkoma branch service suspended in both directions between Ronkonkoma and Farm. Mingdale. This is all because of a disabled tractor trailer on the tracks just east of Deer Park. So LIRR in the meantime, obviously it's very early. There are just a couple of trains that are operating are telling commuters to utilize the other branches. They are not providing bus service at this time. Heading outside, let's take a live look at the roads. They are wet. Here is the LIE in Queens out by Queens Boulevard. Things are moving along okay out there. On the subways, just a reminder, no subway service until 5 a.m. They are being cleaned. Then heading over to the major commuter rail lines, you still have that service suspension for LIRR commuters between Farmingdale and Ronkonkoma in both directions. Uh, as far as Metro North goes, you're going to see possible slip and slide delays today. Path commuters, you still have that 9th Street and 23rd Street station. Both of them remain. One death in the Tampa area. A man was electrocuted. He had been walking through standing water at his home. This is one of the just biggest dangers that you can have. Absolutely. All right, it's 445 right now. Maria LaRosa has been watching Tropical Storm Ada as well as other things that are brewing, Maria. Absolutely. Uh, we have Ada, as you mentioned, officially making landfall. That's when the center of the circulation crosses land. So there you have a cedar key. Uh, and not terribly impressive when it comes to rainfall right now. It's starting to really break up, especially on the west side. But we do have some sort of loose ties. Not too much out there, Maria. A lot of the construction didn't take place overnight that we see because yesterday was a holiday. Uh, then heading over to some wet roads, you do have a stalled vehicle on the Major Deegan northbound out by Yankee Stadium that takes out a lane. And then heading over to the BQE, we see flooding out there anytime it rains. So eastbound heading towards Cadman Plaza uh, in the right lane. It's passable, but you'll see some splashing out there. Then heading over to the Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge, you have a speed restriction, 45 miles per hour this morning because of uh, the wet span out there. You can see people are moving a little more slowly than you would typically see them uh, on the bridge on a nicer day and alternates. Oh, well, actually, I'll get to that in a moment. LIRR still suspended between Ronkonkoma and Farmingdale. This is because of a disabled tractor trailer on the tracks east of Deer Park and also uh, alternate side back in effect today. Michael, back to you. Okay, Warren, thanks very much. In so the audience distance, and there right. it looks like, you know, they had a group of people. Another point, uh, Maren Morris uh, got a CMA award and she dedicated it to black female country artists. Nice. And she said during her acceptance, I hope you know that we see you. So I thought that was really, right. really nice. Absolutely. Really nice. All, All right. right. 4.55 right now. We see Maria and Lauren waiting in the wings <laughs> here to do weather and traffic. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Yeah, a little bit of a mess, I think, traffic-wise because of the weather, right? Uh, at least the road conditions. So let's start with the weather. It's a lot of low cloudiness. Still sunny. down. What are you watching, Lauren? Uh, let's talk about the rails. LIRR commuter service is still suspended in both directions between Farmingdale and Ronkonkoma. This is all because of a disabled tractor trailer on the tracks just east of Deer Park. So they're working on clearing that. Uh, Metro North uh, riders, you'll see possible delays today and likely see delays today because of the slip and slide conditions and a transit and path on or close to schedule. And if you're getting on the ferries, uh, no schedule changes and everything that's operating at this hour is operating on time. Michael, back to you. Hey, Warren, thanks so much. Coming up just before 5 o'clock, the Manhattan rental market, it actually is recovering. We're going to take a look at some of the record-setting numbers. They're not all that great, plus this.
You're certainly going to encounter some puddles out there. We do have some reports of flooding, but uh, everything's passable at the moment. There is a stalled vehicle northbound on the major Deegan out by Yankee Stadium that takes out a lane, but it's really not causing a delay. So use caution if you're headed that way. The bigger problem, if you're just tuning in, LIRR service suspended in both directions between Ronkonkoma and Farmingdale. This is all because of a disabled tractor trailer on the tracks east of Deer Park. They are not providing buses. Uh, you will need to just head to another branch if possible. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Lauren. More concern. On to New York just a few hours from now. Crews are set to begin slicing into that 75 foot tall Norway spruce at 8 a.m. A crane will then hoist the 11 ton tree onto a trailer to begin its journey to New York City. If all goes as planned, the tree should arrive at 30 Rock on Saturday morning, December 2nd, starting at 7 p.m. I'm told David may be singing. He may be. <laughs> He's a very good singer. <laughs> this is news to him. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great to see. I, I'm glad we're able to do right something. And, and Maria, I hope we have good tree transport weather. I know it looks a little uh, less than ideal. Yes, right. Um, yeah, a little less than ideal, but at least more seasonable as we've been throwing that. <laughs> That's my nightmare, not oh. my weather. Just kidding. Uh, if you are in third, it's not that bad. If you are getting on the LIRR good news, Ronkonkoma branch service has been restored between Farmingdale and Ronkonkoma. They're saying there could be some residual delays, but that's great. Uh, really picked up before the morning rush started. Over on 80 eastbound after exit 58, you have an accident there. We're going to take a live look at that. Uh, you could see the left shoulder and left lane blocked, so things are moving along in the accident area, but there are delays getting into it. Also, just one lane gets by due to this crash on the Bruckner heading westbound, approaching exit 48 east 138th Street, so really starting to slow down out there. LIE in Queens, uh, wet roads out there, just congestion as you make your way westbound towards Queens Boulevard and alternate side of the street parking rules. They are back in effect today. Darlene, back to you. Lauren, thanks so much. 518 right now, new this morning, Manhattan real estate. That's always dangerous, but he quickly gets fed up and he just pleads people to listen to science. The clip ends with Paul recreating his appearance on Hot Ones with Sean Evans that quickly turned into a well-known meme. Oh my gosh. I love Paul Rudd though. He's great. I give him credit for doing that. Oh, man, your dang squad. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a bad word. I guess it's okay, right? We're about to find out. I know. <laughs> Can we just say he's a certified young person? He, yes, is. he is. Where he certified. said he was 26 he aged and in 20 anybody. years. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> good stuff. Five degrees right now and some good stuff in the weather forecast as we take a look at the Cross Bronx. Plan on clear skies and temperatures right about 60 degrees at 10 a.m. On our way up to 70 today with more sunshine. The same for White Plains, Sussex. Poughkeepsie close to that Bridgeport as well. I slip it down to 69 or should say up to 69 this afternoon and then down to 55. So another cool one overnight with fair skies. That is your weather. Let's head over to Lauren actually this way. Traffic. <laughs> Hi, uh, good morning. You can see lots of green on the map, so not too many slowdowns, but there is an accident on the Gowanus heading inbound just after the Prospect Expressway that takes out the left lane that just came in. And then heading over to the major commuter rail lines, all running on or close to schedule, and subway service will resume within the next few minutes at 5 a.m. Darlene, back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. Happening today, Sotheby's is auctioning. Heading over to the major commuter rail lines, Metro North, LIRR, NJ Transit, and PATH running on or close to schedule. And we'll take a live look outside at the road. Here's the Long Island Expressway in Queens where it is still very quiet out there. Things are moving along. Major commuter rail lines, Metro North, LIRR, NJ Transit, and PATH running on or close to schedule. And we'll take a live look at Traffic, if there is any. What's going on, Lauren? Oh, there's plenty. <laughs> Probably the most I've seen in a long time at this hour. You can see the map's getting very colorful, but in addition to just congestion, there are problems out there. I'll start in Connecticut. We're northbound on the Connecticut Turnpike after exit 16, the East Norwalk exit. What's left of a box truck fire is out there. Still takes out the right lane. So you can see the delays northbound, but southbound, the delays are much worse. Leave yourself plenty of extra time or head to the Merritt Parkway instead. And then over on the BQE, uh, there's a disabled vehicle that takes out two lanes of approaching Cabman Plaza. So delays at this point, pretty much back to the Verrazano Bridge because of an earlier accident on the Gowanus that cleared, uh, but this obviously is not helping the situation. Michael, back to you. Well, Lauren, thanks very much. We're now just two days away from five degrees right now and some good stuff in the weather forecast as we take a look at the Cross Bronx. Plan on clear skies and temperatures right about 60 degrees at 10 a.m. on our way up to 70 today with more sunshine. The same for White Plains, Sussex, Poughkeepsie close to that Bridgeport as well. I slip it down to 69 or should say up to 69 this afternoon and then down to 55. So another cool one overnight with fair skies. That is your weather. Let's head over to Lauren actually this way. <laughs>